Nicely done. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by.
Hey, you made it. You had a word with the constable yet? Any luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, 
almost forgot your payment. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Sorry. What's on? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Sorry. Look at that. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes but I have done my best for this town. I am a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. 
I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Where are we headed? Look at that. The snakes come back. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together. I hope you rest well on that. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome! 
Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming.
By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Wrong matter of Shroud, my slow-witted accomplice. This is, uh, how to put it simply, uh, a device that makes you look different, sound different. Briefly. The device has its limits, but it will allow you to blend in perfectly, and probably won't jeopardize your ability to have children. Will it? No, definitely not. Probably, yes. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Destination. Reached a groundbreaker. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else?
Captain. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a... T hey, no offense, but I don't think this walking salt tuna can's gonna appreciate you interrupting. Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. So, go space yourself. Problem solved. You must really want it shrunching through your teeth. Do what you want. I'm done here. Whatever you heard, it's all true. The guy insulted my Rizzo's rangers, all right? You can't just insult my rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a tossball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair-weather fan? You wouldn't be saying that if you'd been there. Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. You know something? I am lucky. I ought to raise a glass of zero-G to my fortune, if I had the bits. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone, pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Yeah, I've done work for Sublight. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. That's only about the third or fourth dumbest line I've heard all day. I give it a six out of ten. Seems a little high. That was barely a three, in my humble opinion. Hey, that's better than half. Could be worse. Could be better, too. So, identification... Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Not stuck, per se. You could always throw yourself out the airlock. Of course, then you'd find yourself with an exciting new problem. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. 
get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a bored man and all. He's our liaison. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udon takes it to an, uh, unhealthy level. You noticed, huh? They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Carry on. Captain, I was hoping for a word. Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra II. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Thank you, Captain. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chip, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Go 
back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you Have on you seen breaker. this man? For more offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists beneath... Have you seen this man? For more offers for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists beneath Wells. Report any sightings to your local board and... If you're not crew, you're little people. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. For the following... Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs.
Halcyon Doom. BNP, I can't believe it's not yours. I'm not believing it. You can't keep me up. Something I can help you with? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to... Regrettably, we are dependent on the board. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. A place is probably crawling with outlaws. A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back, with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? The principles of the universe dictate that sometimes we must appease others to keep from being roasted alive. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Smells kind of like Big Bess's outflow pipes. I'm trying to think of a good 
name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It hasn't got a heart. gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. News. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> 